follow us on our first trip as we finally get out of Ireland after months at home in lockdown and make our way to sunny Spain. Having spent the last nine months converting our chickadee into the camp of our dreams, it was finally time to try it out. The only problem? It's the middle of December, and where Spain is known to be sunny, it might not always be warm. One thing is for sure, however, due to COVID and the time of the year, Spain's nature, with its mountains, deserts and beaches, would await us with its beauty and complete loneliness. Just about to start our trip, um, drove about the first 100 kilometers. Yeah, roughly, yeah. In pretty bad rain, lots of traffic around Dublin, and uh, are just stopping for our dinner. Um, nice noodle salad. salad. And our ferry is delayed by about four hours after the initial ferry directly to Spain was already cancelled yesterday. We have now a new trip through um, the UK and France. So hopefully everything goes well and um, then this afternoon the first text message came and the ferry was delayed by three hours but now it's four hours so we're hoping we get to the UK tonight otherwise the entire plan again won't work but we'll see but most importantly uh, we get through France because in France um, there's like a curfew overnight and um, we arrive like after the curfew kind of starts already so um, we just really hope that we don't get stuck there and that we can just you know continue the journey down to Spain. So yeah. traveling during Covid really not easy let's see how it goes. With the direct ferry from Rasleir to Bilbao cancelled, we had to travel from Rasleir to Pembroke, Wales, parked in some forest of Wales to sleep for a few hours and continued on via Portsmouth to Cannes, France. Lots of driving that we hadn't planned, but with this being the first trip in a long time, even that couldn't darken our mood. And so the trip went, long, somehow mostly in the darkness, but largely uneventful. Eight AM in France. We arrived last night. So really exciting to see how it looks here. Very peaceful spot for the night. You can hear some music far away, which is strange because it's meant to be a curfew. So we don't know who exactly had a big party last night. But other than that, absolutely peaceful. After breakfast and some coffee, we left our nice quiet spot in Ken and kept on going towards the south, always chasing the sun. So we are now on our way to southern France or northern Spain, Bordeaux, San Sebastian, somewhere along that area. Should be another four or five hours drive. It's very nice and sunny, just driving towards the sun as you can see. Yeah, um, we're on the, on the French highway now and uh, it's really nice actually. It's a very good quality road and um, we make good progress. Uh, the only downside is um, the, the toll, which is quite heavy, but, uh, but again, you know, at least you get, you get there in time, so it's nice. Yeah, we're really fast. Because uh, obviously our destination is more Spain and Portugal, which was the original plan. So, 
Let's see if we get there tonight. On the way, we decided to stop at the Dune of Pillar. Europe's tallest dune, located 60 kilometers southwest of Bordeaux, with a height of approximately 106 meters above sea level. Unfortunately, by the time we arrived there, it had just turned dark outside. That could not stop us from climbing up, exploring the dune and playing around in this massive sandbox. We had driven enough for the day and the time of the curfew came up, so we looked for a camp spot close to the dune in the woods. <laughs> Alright, so late again, but dinner's ready. Wait for Zoe and Bordeaux. And now we're gonna do the dishes and then we're gonna get into the tent. We are from France, from near Mimizan to Spain. We found this little spot with a view on the Pyrenees and you can see down there. And now it's time for breakfast. <laughs> After a sunny and even warm day exploring the Basque coast, we made our way towards the back country, looking for a secluded spot in the wild to spend the night. And we were indeed successful. It turned out to be one of our favorite spots of the entire trip. Moments like this afternoon, enjoying peaceful nature, some wine and chats and a beautiful sunset are the reason for our overlanding dream. Four days on the road it was time to stock up, so we found a local supermarket stocking up with fruit, veg, cheese and lots of wine for the next few days in the wild. Continuing to drive south, unfortunately the weather turned more and more grey and also pretty cold. But out of the mist a cute little town of the name Tafala appeared, catching our eyes with its special cathedral, so we decided to stop and check it out. After a little walk through the town, we continued on to the plan stop for the day, the Badenas Reales, a semi-desert natural region in central Spain.
So, we arrived at the Verdanas Reales. Is that right? That's right. Verdanas Reales. That one in uh, Spain. And uh, this is pretty close to Saragossa. It's a desert or a half desert. And um, just from like looking around, you can tell that usually it looks pretty dry here. So there are no trees or any like um, and anything high, growing high, so uh, just pretty much uh, low um, vegetation here and um, grass and <clears throat> yeah, little stuff. So um, yeah, unfortunately today um, it's a bit cloudy and uh, foggy, so you can't really tell. Um, you know, it's not really that that great to see, but uh, hopefully after a good night of sleep. Um, this clears up and we can actually see a bit more of that senior scenery here. That's pretty awesome. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> That's the desert. As it started to get dark, we decided to use the park to our advantage. Searching a back road to park would mean we would literally disappear in the dark and the fog. And it worked. So we arrived at our camp spot here in the middle of the desert. It is pretty cold. So Marika is wearing a bit of a expedition clothing. There's no bad weather, just bad clothes. So yeah. got everything on. Is... Um, time for a cold beer now, I'd say. As you can see, it's still really foggy, so um, yeah. And here's the beer. Spanish beer. Good Spanish beer. Cheers! The next morning we got up early, hoping for better weather, and also well knowing that we wouldn't be hidden anymore should the fog be gone. We were rewarded by a beautiful desert morning. We hope you have enjoyed our very first episode where we took you with us from Dublin all the way to the Spanish desert. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>